Hey gang, want to see something neat? Check out this awesome hidden feature I found in Firebase Analytics. So I'm over here looking at all my reports in the Firebase Analytics dashboard. Uh, here, for instance, I've got my active users for the last 30 days. And while these graphs sure are pretty, I'm thinking it'd be kind of nice if I could get these numbers into like Google Sheets or maybe Excel so I could analyze them a little better, right? Well, watch this. I'm going to select my graph here in the Firebase console. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see by like the highlighted text here that my graph has been selected. And then I'll hit Command-C to copy it. And then I'm going to switch to a blank Google spreadsheet and hit Command-V to paste. And uh, look at that. All my values are right there in the spreadsheet for me to analyze. So you can see here uh, on the leftmost column, I've got the date. And then all the actual numbers are in the columns next to it. Now, you might notice that I seem to have two columns of what looks like the same data, right? I've got monthly active users here. And then right next to it, I've got this monthly users column. And then the same goes for my weekly actives and same for my daily actives. And so basically, that first column is for the value that corresponds to the date here on the left. The second column is basically for that corresponding day in the previous 30-day time period. Uh, basically, it's the values that belong to this dotted line here in the graph that I copied. Make sense? OK. And then I can do the same thing for a bunch of these other graphs. Uh, here I can copy and paste my daily engagement numbers. Let's uh, get these into a new sheet here. And uh, again, you can see I've got my engagement numbers uh, from this time frame in this first column, and then those same numbers uh, for the previous 30 days in this second column. And uh, better yet, I can jump over to an individual event, like this completed five levels event, and uh, copy all these graphs here at the top. And you can see I'll get event counts, user counts, event per user counts, and uh, values for every one of my events that I am recording in Firebase Analytics. And uh, this lets me do some pretty nice calculations right here in Google Sheets. Uh, for example, let's say our game designer is curious how often people are failing a level in our game. Well, for starters, I've got my level start graph here uh, to show when people are starting a level in my game. So first, I'm going to copy and paste these numbers into a new sheet. Let's uh, put them in. OK, great. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my level fail graph. Um, and that will show when people have failed a level. So we'll copy from here. And we'll paste them right in next to uh, my other numbers. And once I've copied and pasted these values into Google Sheets, I can then calculate my average failure rate per game stat by dividing this number here by this other one. Uh, I'm going to copy this formula down for all of my dates. Let's uh, give it a percentage format so it looks nice. Uh, maybe we'll add an average at the bottom here. Let's do average for all these numbers. And uh, there we go. Looks like my game has an average failure rate somewhere in the low 30s, which sounds like it's just challenging enough for our players. So uh, our game designer is happy. Now, a couple of disclaimers here. Uh, first, this doesn't work on all the graphs I've tried. Some of them just don't seem to copy and paste as well as others. Uh, but it does work on a surprising number of them. You'll just kind of have to try them out and see if they work. And second, this will never be a replacement for some of the awesome and sophisticated data analysis capabilities you get by exporting your raw data to BigQuery. And you should totally go watch this video if you want to find out more. Uh, but if all you want to do is maybe compare two graphs to each other or calculate some standard deviations or averages on a particular event, this trick can work surprisingly well. So give it a try yourself, have fun with it, and we will see you soon on another episode of Firecasts.